cancer, they passed away about three years ago. So I did the cancer on along the front in 2019 and I just promote it and support it. And I'm also wanting to get into COVID research. I'd like that to be researched, you know, because that's really important, you know, if we can save lives and stuff and get medicines. Hello everyone, my name is Beli and if you are subscribed, that's wonderful. Today is 27th of March and it's the Mothering Day, which is amazing. And that's why Bournemouth have given to these mothers the amazing, beautiful and super sunny day. Can you believe it? It's, I, I think that is amazing. I, I just can't handle this sunny day. It's beautiful. It's like uh, 17 degrees, 18, but it feels amazing. You can feel the sun in your face. <laughs> it's beautiful. Come with us. We are going to interview some people, ask them which is the best and the worst gift that you can give to a mother what is the meaning of the Mothering Day and of course I'm going to ask your questions so don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, hit the notifications bell and follow these videos. Modern Sunday is a celebration originally from United Kingdom, Ireland and some Commonwealth, happening every fourth Sunday in Lent, three weeks before Easter Sunday. The reason of it is to honor the Mother Church being ourselves a child of the Church. An English woman called Constance Adelaine Smith initiated the Modern Days movement and she published around four books to revive the idea of Modern Sunday outlining the different aspects of motherhood that they should honor beyond their religion. Nowadays, this celebration is also called Mother Day, apparently influenced by the commercialism from the Mother's Day in the United States. And here we are with Emma, Monica, Barbara, Teresa, Christine. We're going to talk about the Mother's Day and check this out. It's amazing. And what is best is that the reason of this outfit and all this matching in pink is because cancer research, which is a beautiful thing. Can you tell me a bit about what is this about and about the Mother's Day? How do you feel with that? Um, well, obviously, I've lost my daughter with cancer and my husband, but I still try and celebrate and I try and lift people's spirits, you know, I try and be happy, the pink's a happy colour, so I try and lift people's spirits, make them smile and laugh, etc. Easter, I'm getting dressed up as a white Easter bunny with giving eggs to the children, you know, so I try and lift people's spirits and you have to enjoy every day Make the most of every day because you don't know what's going to happen, yeah? So first of all, we want to know what is Mothering Day? Which is the meaning of that and why are we celebrating this? I think for me, it's just a celebration of our status as a mother. Um, obviously, it's a very powerful thing to go through carrying a child, birthing a child, raising that child. And I think it just deserves to be honoured. Um, it's a really special thing. I only understand it as it's originally a religious Correct, meaning behind yeah. Mother's Day and we celebrate it really and thank you to our mothers for everything that they have done for us. Oh it's just a way to celebrate your mum and say thank you you know I suppose you know but uh, it's just and children love their mothers and you know they just like to be with them especially on that day. It is rooted Hopefully. in history though isn't it? Sorry? It's yeah. rooted in history with uh, when they did, um, people were working in service. It, they give the, 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 the younger children the time off to go and visit the mothers on that particular day. That's where it really started, but uh, that's the tradition behind it. I think uh, Mother's Day is just traditionally to give mum a rest. Because <laughs> mum ends up doing uh, quite a lot of things at home and it's good for mum to be able to have a rest. I think that's what it's all about. Definitely. How do you celebrate it generally? Um, generally other people cook for me, like my lovely husband and the <laughs> children. And um, go and see my mum, get gift of some flowers and cards and people show their general appreciation. 
Um, I, don't, I think it varies from family to family, but I think for us it's just important to actually spend the day together. Um, it's obviously very nice that I can have my husband with us because obviously work commitments, so it's nice to get a day off to actually just be a small family unit. Um, obviously historically we've always celebrated with our parents but now we have our own daughter. Um, sometimes we'll meet up with them and do a big celebration, we might go out for a meal um, and this year we kind of decided we wanted to keep it quite small and just celebrate us as a little family unit. Well we usually go to uh, one of the daughter's houses and um, Julie, our oldest one, she's somewhere here, <laughs> um, she's great, she always cooks for us and uh, she does wonderful meals and uh, we just, and that's her daughter so we, you know, we have a lovely time and it's just always spend it together, all, all the whole family, so no matter where we, we beach or home or anywhere and it's just perfect. Are you a mother? I am a mother and a grandmother. Oh, that's beautiful. Now that you're a mother, which is the best and the worst gift that you have received? <laughs> um, the best gift is always spending time with the family, that's lovely. Um, the worst gift was the time that Brian went to empty the potty when the girls were little and he thought it was empty but it wasn't and he went like that and it splashed it yeah. all over me on Mother's so, Day. Matilda <laughs> was only very little and she was getting ready to go to bed and uh, she had a, a heavy uh, potty, you know, for in the night <laughs> and it was all a bit hectic and I thought that I'd emptied the potty and wow. I hadn't and I came out of the bathroom, Monica walked past and I pretended, however, there was actually <laughs> full. Yes. I don't think I've received a bad gift for Mother's Day. It's only my second full Mother's Day, so um, I think the best is just the time just to be able to, like I said before, spend that time as a family. We're not really big on the whole like gift giving thing. I think we've got our little gift, so yeah, I'm happy with a card and some flowers, some chocolate, something like that. Um, other than that, I just celebrate my little girl, so... I know, I, I don't think I've ever had a worse one. I mean, all the time that we spend together is oh, it's just lovely and it's special. Um, I think that I've just always been lucky and had the best. <laughs> and it's just being together. Um, well, today I've received a voucher for a spa day with my daughter, with our daughter, so, and a massage which will be lovely. Oh, that's so, good. Because it means we can spend time together as well, because she lives a long way away. I see. Um, the worst? Oh, I, don't, I can't. <laughs> um, oh, I, was it the worst was a, a rain cover for my saddle? Was that for Mother's Day? It could have been, yes. <laughs> that was probably the worst. For my saddle for my bike, so that was probably the worst. Is there anything else that you would like to say to the community uh, to invite people to come to Bournemouth? It's a great place to live. I've been down here for 20 years now um, and I used to live quite inland so it's really nice to just have all this around us. Uh, yeah. yeah, you can go anywhere and just it's beautiful. Uh, we were just talking about how lucky we are to live in Bournemouth but it's just a lovely, it's a lovely slow pace of life, a beautiful scenery, the beach is obviously a big bonus but everything's lovely. There's lots of greenery as well. It's a lovely yeah. town. Can you please close up this Bournemouth beautiful hat? I love it. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, just come and enjoy the day, enjoy the weather, enjoy the scenery but don't leave a mess behind you. Enjoy it and have fun. Come enjoy and only leave footsteps. Oh, oh Bournemouth is beautiful. Um, oh, the sand and the sea and I don't think it matters if it's hot or cold. It's, it's just a beautiful place to come to. And, uh, you know, to see all the, the lovely dogs running around and chat to the people that are here, it's, it's just a beautiful place to come to. Really, it's an absolutely beautiful place. It's got, I think, 15 miles of beautiful beach. On days like this, it's like Greece or Spain. It's so hot and it's a very clean place to live. And it's just beautiful. I've traveled all around the world. I've been to 26 cities. I was a singer and dancer at one time. And I've lived here now for 20 years. It's an absolute beautiful place. Many hotels, very cheap to stay here, and beautiful food, restaurants, etc. Can't beat it. 
And that has been everything for today, guys. I really love this place and I really love the sunny day of today. Uh, these are the Electric Beach barbecue. They are for free. If you want me to make a video just about this, talking about how to use it, uh, why are they here and when it happened, of course I can do it, but you need to leave the comment in the section down below. Don't forget to subscribe, that's thumbs up, hit the notifications bell, and of course share this content. Say bye to Bournemouth. I love this, it's amazing, bye. Peace, love, and hard rock, yes! <laughs>